My name is Robert O'Brien. I'm in the political science department here at McMaster. Can you hear okay? Yes. Thank you. Um, on the 16th of June of this year, on the 16th of June this year, uh, Peter Waterman passed away. He was one of the uh, giants of uh, labor internationalism. Um, he was scheduled to be a panelist uh, here today, and I'm sure he would have loved to have been here to engage in, in debate and discussion. And I'd just like to say a few words to uh, commemorate his passing. So I got to know Peter when I was a, a much younger academic and just starting to work on the labor movement. And I want to leave you with a few thoughts about him, both kind of his work and as a person. So for those of you who knew him, uh, Peter was a very passionate, uh, complicated, tireless activist and academic working on labor internationalism issues. Uh, his passion was obvious to anyone who knew him, and his uh, constant work, similarly obvious, which he made available, most of his publications online. Uh, he has a huge body of work if anyone is interested in, in pursuing it. Peter was also, though, very complicated, I think it's fair to say, uh, both in um, uh, his intellectual life and also uh, his personal life. So, Intellectually, I mean, he, he had this amazing trajectory, and I'll just go over a little bit of it for you, in case you don't know. So he began um, working for the World Federation of Labor uh, in Czechoslovakia. Uh, he was a member of the Communist Party until 1968 and the Prague Spring, when uh, he broke with the Communist Party and broke with communism over those events. He then became an academic and worked a lot on Africa, um, on uh, labor studies, as uh, um, Kim was saying, uh, did a lot of work on social movement unionism. Into the 1990s, he moved uh, more into social movement work, became very involved in the global justice movement. He was very much influenced by uh, Castells and the Network Society, became very involved in the Information Society, um, and at the same time launched very string, stinging critiques of uh, organized labor and established labor. Um, he was complicated on a personal level. If you're interested, there's a brief obituary in the Global Labor Journal by Ronaldo Monk. And in the last paragraph of that, he talks about uh, Peter as um, being both stridently critical, and I think a number of people in this room have felt his strident criticism very personally, uh, but also being personally generous, especially to young scholars. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Yes. His autobiography is available online and is quite a you know, extended version of this wonderful tribute that people might like to read. Absolutely. Fascinating book. Thank you, Dan, for that. And uh, you'll notice at the end of our program, we've reproduced uh, an obituary um, written by uh, another giant, Richard Hyman, who authorized us to reproduce it in the program, so it could also give you uh, uh, another perspective on, uh, on Peter's life and contribution. Thank you so very much. We're actually not that late, which is absolutely exceptional for an academic conference. And uh, so the coffee break is in the next room, and then we resume in 15 minutes in both this room, the next room, and the room on the first floor, as indicated in the program. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. 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 Yeah.